Hey, this is Chris here from Smart Choice Reality TV, the smart choice for real estate investors. Hey, thanks for clicking on the link. Now, this is our introductory video. So over the next couple of months, we're going to be introducing you to our team. We're going to be talking to you about some strategies that have worked for us. We're going to be interviewing some very interesting people in the game. And we're going to be serving up some words of wisdom that will tie it all together. So we're going to show you how to go from sitting on the bench to full-time starter, baby. <laughs> hey, so we're doing this all for you. We want to know what you like and we want to know what you want to see next. So make sure you leave a comment below. So stick around for our five things you need to know and our smart thought of the week. Now let's get into this. Hey, this is Chris here from Smart Choice Reality TV. Now I've got with me here Gary Hibbert from Smart Home Choice. Thanks a lot, Gary, for joining us today. Thank you. All right. Now Gary's going to be talking to you about the five tips you need to know as a beginning real estate investor. So uh, Gary, um, what would you say is the first principle or main tip in your mind? Yeah, you know what, that's a, that's a really good point. And I would say the uh, one, one of the most important ones, and I realized this after I got into real estate investing, was um, making sure that you have a, a good, strong core team. You know, um, having a, a mortgage broker in your corner, um, a good real estate agent in your corner, um, a lawyer, you know, uh, a home inspector. And, and, and I think that's really what, uh, uh, you know, the, the vibes, you know, real estate investors who become successful and ones who, uh, you know, really struggle in the game. Yeah, so thanks so much, Gary. Um, now, what would you say is the second point? Yeah, um, wow. I, I would say tip number two would be to, uh, to to have a clear vision. And I think to have that clear vision, you need a, uh, a whiteboard. And, and, and having a whiteboard and, and having your goals set out um, really kind of helps, um, you know, the setting of the sales and, and, and making sure you're going in the right direction. Right, a whiteboard. Very important. Very yeah. important. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So we're down. To, we're down two points. Uh, what about the third? Yeah. So I would say a third point would be to uh, to pick a strategy, and especially if you're a, a beginning real estate investor, um, it can become very confusing. And especially if you're going out there and you're going to different seminars, um, you're going to see things like wholesaling, um, flipping, buy and hold, uh, rent to own. Uh, syndicate mortgages. There's so many different strategies out there, and uh, and, and it can be overwhelming in the beginning. So, um, you know, a mentor told me in the beginning was to pick a strategy and and, and master it, and that's what we did. Right. Perfect. Pick a strategy, master it. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay so uh, that brings us actually down to the fourth point. Yeah. So number four, I would say, would be is financing. You've now picked your strategy. You know what uh, what you're going to be doing now in real estate investing. And um, you know, are you going to be using your own money? Um, are you going to be using other people's money, or are you going to be using the bank's money, which uh, which I really do like doing? So um, you know, it's it's really about you know being able to finance your uh, your deal. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. So um, that brings us down to point five. Yeah. Five. All right. We're almost there. Almost there. Almost there. <laughs> So yeah, so so tip number five would be um, you know now that you've actually acquired the property, and I think a lot of um, investors missed this point. It'd be marketing and, and advertising. I think a lot of people think that you know well I don't really have a business, but you know you do have to treat this like a business because it, it truly is. Um, is you know now you have a vacant property, and if you don't understand marketing, uh, and if you don't understand advertising. And uh, you know you've got a property that you haven't been able to fill now for two months. You know that could definitely into your pocket. So you do have to understand marketing. You do have to understand uh, where to advertise and, and how to attract those tenants to your properties. Right. So um, five very solid points, Gary Hibbert. Thanks a lot for coming by. Smart home choice. Uh, now Gary talked about five very important points um, that would be having a strong team, um, having a vision or whiteboard especially. Um, that would be picking a strategy and making sure you stick with it. Financing, where you're gonna get this money. And then of course, marketing. Because not everything ends as soon as you get that home. You gotta market it now. So Gary, I would love to thank you for coming by. And um, in fact, uh, how can the people out there find out more about you and what you do? Yeah, no thanks. Um, so uh, if you're interested to learn more about what we do, you can go to uh, www.shcinvestor.ca. Great. All right. 
Thanks so much, Gary. Oh, well, thanks for having me. All right. I appreciate it. It was, right. uh, it was fun. All right, guys. So this is our smart thought of the week, brought to you by Dale Carnegie. Now he said that you can make more friends in two months by getting interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. Now that's it for our five things you need to know and our smart thought of the week. Don't forget to leave some comments and check us out at the link below.